Mono Cliffs Provincial Park, a popular spot in southern Ontario, Canada in which to escape to the outdoors, with well-established map trails throughout this limestone-rich location along the Niagara Escarpment, it's a place I've explored top to bottom. There is one mysterious feature left unexplored, however, a plateau, or outlier, at the northeast of the park boundary. With no visible trails leading to this dominant landmark, my curiosity has been piqued for years to find out just what and who's been up there. Planning by using various topographical maps as reference, I've determined the best course of approach is from the north as steep rock faces border its east and west sides. It's a gamble as I don't know what to expect, not to mention the high risk of deep limestone caves, possibly hidden right under the very path I will walk. The time has finally come for me to meet this familiar giant face to face. Okay, I'm approaching the uh, plateau at Mono Cliffs Provincial Park. Uh, I'm looking for some kind of a path or trail that leads up to this plateau, but I'm not really seeing anything other than maybe some paths made by animals. Considering this is uh, a provincial park and it's been around for some time, you would think that this plateau would be explored by somebody. So essentially that's what I'm looking for today is uh, some signs of uh, other people coming out here to uh, explore this thing. If it's even climbable without uh, climbing gear. But we'll see. That's the whole point. I'm at the base of the plateau now. Uh, just at the, I guess the remote base of the plateau and I've come upon a, a small stream here uh, so I'm out of the uh, all the milkweed the uh, the weeds out in the field at the uh, north end of the park and uh, heading in closer uh, in the wooded area now but uh, striving towards the plateau uh, that's what's uh, fueling the exploration It's a bit intimidating going up the side of this cliff. There's little caves everywhere. I'm just waiting for something to jump out and attack me, bite my legs or worse. Okay, so I've reached almost the top of the North Plateau in Mono Cliffs Provincial Park. Uh, it's about 230 feet uh, that I've climbed up according to the GPS. Um, pretty, pretty treacherous. There are limestone caves everywhere. And I was thinking about coming back here in the uh, winter and uh, for that reason alone I didn't. But uh, just seeing now uh, what the ground holds, uh, it's, it's it's risky it's, it's risky maybe there'd be divots in the snow but i mean if they're or maybe you know i think there's a lot of uh, animals that live in these a lot of burrows so you probably see tracks in and out might be a good excursion but uh, now that i've got a bit of a, uh, a gps trail going through here i should be able to follow that back in the winter time to explore some more but uh, i'm just coming upon heaven right now uh, it's not not doesn't look like it's too explored but uh it's like uh, realm of the elves up here just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. It's been cloudy most of the morning, rain early this morning. Sun's coming out now and shining through the trees from the west and uh, it's casting quite a light through the uh, early autumn leaves. Uh, just absolutely beautiful.
this is exactly why I've been timid to come up here. So when I was coming towards this, I thought it was a den, but it's definitely a cave that's been uh, blocked by a couple of chains drilled into the limestone. So maybe there's been an accident here, but uh, definitely one of the things, probably one of two things that I've been uh, nervous about. Uh, one is animals jumping out of holes and biting my ankles, or worse, and falling in a crevice. That's the really the only reason why I didn't come here during the winter. Okay, so check this out. I've been uh, walking further down and there's a whole crevice here. And you can see here there's divots in the leaves, somewhat, maybe. But uh, just coming along here and there's about a 15 foot drop off, just out of nowhere, boom. And uh, you imagine that being full of snow or something? You can climb out of it, but uh, you probably hurt yourself on the way down. Again, just absolutely gorgeous up here. Serene, peaceful. You lose yourself not paying attention and fall down a hole. Stop here. I'm at the uh, south end of the plateau. Starts to drop off here, and surprisingly, like I was saying, I didn't uh, think there was a better way to access. It almost looks like there's a trail here. Now it makes more sense. There's an actual path, the main path through uh, the Mono Cliffs. Uh, just circles around. It's a little ways in here. For my uh, tripod, I should add a. Uh, an orange ribbon onto the uh, the neck of it so it's easier to locate if I set it down to film from a distance or if I just set it down in general so there's that and uh, I think packing a harmonica now I don't play it very well but just for the sake of uh, having a noisemaker in your pack to scare off animals or at least let them know that you're coming uh, it'd be handy to have like today I was uh, when I was hiking up the north side I was uh, giving some grunts and whatnot just so animals knew I was there and wouldn't be a surprise to them. Give them a warning I was coming, but I didn't want anything jumping out of the hole at me. That would have been pretty freaky. Thinking about my family, Josh, Emma, and Cameron. It's another good reason to make these videos, even though nobody watches them other than me is uh, just to have some kind of a living documentary on myself something to look back on that's a good thing about actors and actresses uh, when they go on when they pass they've got their films to remember them by and it's it's almost like like uh, you know if, if you knew them personally it'd be almost like having them around again but uh, now for this, this, this my contribution, it kind of keeps my spirit alive, so that's good. All right, that's it. Get back.
So that's it. The plateau has been explored. Definitely the land of the elves, pardon the nerdy pun. Uh, yeah, on my way back now, not too far from the car. Take care.